please, now it's time for some breaking news! everybody the very first thing i want to dive right into is a quick little update on the wga strike and iotc in general because iotc is going to donate two million dollars that's right two million dollars towards its members for this writer strike situation because a lot of them need aid right now because a lot of people aren't working if they didn't save for this a lot of these crew members work paycheck to paycheck and iotc is taking two million dollars out there their funds and they're giving it to these different foundations that donate or that you can apply to if you're an IATSE member to get money to help you out through the situation. The Motion Picture and Television Fund, Entertainment Community Fund, the Actors Fund of Canada are getting $2 million and I split it up and you can apply for it now if you're an IATSE member because that's what it's there for. The, the unions are trying to help out in a situation like this where there's no end in sight. Since May 2nd, we still have a strike and the DGA gets a deal and SAG's negotiating. So who knows if they'll get a deal. But because of that, they're making this happen. There's other funds too, in case you're in this situation. There's a Humantis, a nonprofit organization that's launched something called Groceries for Writers. So Humantis? if you actually uh, need help with groceries, huh? Humantis, is that some sort of human praying mantis hybrid? It it, it might be, it might be. I it mean, might, hopefully might, they're not like <laughs> Zornet. <laughs> uh, it takes some money for groceries, don't eat us. Um, but, <laughs> but giving money out, helping out. There's also the Inevitable Fund uh, that's out there right now, Inevitable Foundation, I should say. And they have an emergency fund right now for disabled writers. If you need some money, they can help you out too. And there's also Pay Up Hollywood, another fund out there that launched during COVID. That's still happening right now to support staff members and assistants that apparently don't get anything most of the time, get fired, get laid off, or are working long hours for nothing during a strike. 